hi guys welcome back to packet rift in this video we'll see how to configure the ospf and we'll see the command line difference between juniper and this is go devices so let's get started so let's start with uh, our previous topology where we are using the cisco and uh, juniper connected back to back via g00 and the ethernet 00 so here we will be configuring the OSPF in this particular link in area 0. So let's start in the CLI. So here the Juniper router and it is the Cisco router. As we configured the IP address on our previous uh, video on Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface on the Cisco router and the show configuration interface of uh, 00 on the Juniper router. So this is the IP we have configured and we want to enable the OSPF in this particular uh, interface on the Cisco, uh, sorry, Juniper and uh, Ethernet 00 on the Cisco router. So let's see how we can configure on both uh, Cisco and Juniper. So let's start with the Juniper uh, here. So go to configuration to set the OSPF or to configure the OSPF we have to go inside the edit protocol because this is related to protocol we are configuring the OSPF protocol or any other protocol we have to go to say inside the edit protocol so edit protocol set OSPF and then the area that we want to configure so we want to configure the area 0 for that particular interface or G00 interface so area 0 and then we have to define the interface here which interface we want to run the OSPF for so GE 0 slash 0 slash 0 dot 0 dot 0 is nothing but the unit so show pipe compare this will see this will show what are the configuration that we have done and then commit so show configuration is the call OSPF so we have configured the OSPF so this is what we will see it's already configured and uh, committed inside the running configuration. Now let's see how to configure inside the Cisco router. Go to configuration terminal and then here in the configuration, here in the Cisco router, we have to define the OSPF process. Whereas this concept is not there inside the Cisco, uh, sorry, Juniper router, but you have to define the OSPF process in the Cisco router. So any random process. So I am using the OSPF under DS. Yes. So uh, once done, go to the OSPF process and then define the interface IP where you want to run the OSPF. So here I want to run the OSPF on this particular IP. So I'm using this IP as a network 100.1.1.2 and it's wildcard mask. So instead of slash 30, I'm using slash 32 wildcard mask for slash 32 because I'm configuring the OSPF for this particular IP. So 0.0.0.0, so wildcard mask of slash 32, and the area 0. So this is how we configure the OSPF on this Cisco router and the OSPF and the Juniper router. As you can see here, the OSPF is already up. So let's verify that OIP OSPF in the Cisco router. So and show IP OSPF interface. So this is how you see protocol is up in the OSPF and we can configure or we, sorry, we can verify inside this is Juniper router show OSPF neighbor. So as you can see, this is OSPF is configured on this particular interface and it is in a full state. Show IP OSPF neighbor full state and this is the DR and this is the PDR. Yeah. So this is how we configure the OSPF. This is the very basic configuration of the OSPF on Juniper and the Cisco router. Thanks for watching guys. Please do like and subscribe the packet drift for more such learning. Thank you.